Making your own homemade vinegars is a great way of locking in the flavours of herbs and other homegrown produce. They're brilliant at livening up meal times and will add a little pizzazz to your cooking. Best of all, they make beautiful homemade gifts for the holiday season. Want to make one? Then let's find out how. First, a safety announcement. You do need to be careful when bottling or canning produce that you're not trapping nasty bacteria. Preserving in vinegars rather than oil helps to keep the contents acidic, but to avoid problems it is still necessary to thoroughly sterilise bottles before use. Clean them in hot, soapy water then rinse them. Don't dry them with a dish towel. Instead, place the bottles into an oven preheated to 140 Celsius or 280 Fahrenheit. Leave them there for 10 minutes, then use them as soon as possible, ideally while they are still warm. You could also use a water bath canner and gradually bring them up to boiling point once the contents are in the jar. Whew. With that over, let's get on with the fun of making some delicious infusions. Vinegars may be flavoured with herbs, soft fruits or vegetables. Use a clear vinegar which won't overpower the produce you want to use for your flavouring. Suitable vinegars include white vinegar, distilled vinegar, white wine vinegar and cider vinegar. Never use metal utensils or bowls when preparing homemade vinegars, as the acid can react. Instead, use glass, plastic or wooden alternatives. To make a fruit vinegar, begin by gently bruising your soft fruits or berries, so they start to release their juices. Now add one pint or half a litre of vinegar to every pound or 500 grams of fruit. Cover the bowl with a clean cloth, then leave the fruit and vinegar to infuse for four days, stirring the mixture twice a day. When the time is up, strain the liquid through a muslin or cheesecloth. Place the liquid into a pan, then add half a pound of sugar, that's 250 grams, to each pint or half litre of strained liquid. Boil the sweetened vinegar for 10 minutes, then pour into bottles or jars. Use the fruit vinegar in desserts or dilute it as a really refreshing drink. Vegetable vinegars are even easier to make. Suitable vegetables include celery, chilli peppers, cucumber and garlic. Simply place your chopped vegetables into a jar, pour on the vinegar, then leave to infuse for two to six weeks. Strain through the cheesecloth, then decant into bottles, seal and store. This celery vinegar, made with white wine vinegar, is delicious poured over cold cuts of turkey or chicken. Herb vinegars make very pretty gifts. Start by harvesting sprigs of your favourite herb, here we're using rosemary, then wash and allow to dry. Now gently bruise the leaves to release all those delicious aromas. You can do this by scraping the sprigs with the back of a spoon. Push the sprigs into the bottle. Meanwhile, heat your vinegar until it reaches close to boiling point. Carefully pour the hot vinegar into warmed bottles, making sure that the herbs are completely covered by the vinegar. Once the vinegar has completely cooled, you can add your cork or cap. Store your vinegars in a cool place out of direct sunlight. Vinegars should keep for at least four months or up to six months in the refrigerator. Herbs exposed to the air can soon turn mouldy, so don't forget to remove sprigs from herb vinegar as they are used up. Remember, if the seal becomes broken or the contents of the jar look less than perfect, there's no point in risking it, just discard the contents. Follow the sterilisation guidelines at the start of the video and your vinegar should remain in tip-top condition. Homemade vinegars can be made to look exceptionally beautiful with just a few choice accessories. Add a really professional finish by tying coloured raffia, ribbon or string to the neck of a bottle. You could also attach your own homemade labels. This one has the name of the vinegar and the date it was made written onto it. Why not use stamps to add further interest to your tags or labels? Here we're using a homemade vegetable stamp to imprint beautiful snowflake shapes. I hope this has given you a few ideas. Of course, if you've got a tried and tested recipe, don't keep it to yourself. Tell us about it by sharing a comment below. And if you've enjoyed this video, why not join the thousands of other subscribers to our video channel who receive notification of each new video we upload. I look forward to sharing more ideas with you next time.